So the morning of, I was uh, working in Station 1. It was the old Station 1. I was upstairs when Station 3 called, Lieutenant from Station 3 called and told us that a uh, aircraft had hit World Trade Center. After we got the, the first notification, it was the first aircraft hit the towers. And so at that time, even as a nation, we weren't suspecting uh, terrorist acts. So um, during that time, there was a um, there was a website you could go to on the computer and you could listen to radio traffic from from different departments. So once we got the call, I went to the battalion office and, and pulled up uh, FDNY radio frequency to listen to their radio traffic. And that's when I found out that all their radio traffic was down as far as it being broadcast out. So we went downstairs and even a lot of the eight hour administration personnel, everybody kind of gathered up, grouped up downstairs at station one and had it on the news when we saw the second aircraft strike the tower. As a first responder working that day, you start wondering what's, what's next, because then you hear about the Pentagon, uh, the aircraft went down in Pennsylvania. And so, you know, as Atlanta targeted is, you know, other international airports, uh, aircraft coming out of there, and what, what are some other targets, and how is that going to affect, what's the world going to look like after this? As far as you're know, thinking about the first responders that were responding in, um, you know, they had people coming from off duty and responding uh, once they got the news in, in New York. And so they know one thing, and that's the mission. And so they're, they're going into the towers to try to save as many people as they can. And uh, obviously not, um, not knowing that they were going to have a, both towers collapse. It was a complete change. It was the minute the towers fell and, and people found out about the, uh, the tragic loss in New York, and of course the 343 firefighters, then even here we, our responses were different. Um, now when we respond through downtown, you people may not even notice or they're, the sirens are annoying or, you know, we're, sometimes we're impeding in other people's normal day is the impression, but at, after 9-11, for weeks and um, re even months after, people just stopped. They stopped on the streets, they watched the trucks go by, they would wave when you went by responding. And so traffic stopped at intersections, a lot of fire trucks through. And so um, I think it was just a wake up call for the nation as to how vulnerable we are and, and that we have to rely on first responders to get to where they're supposed to, to do what they're trained to do. And, and so the response was different. It was almost eerie because it would stop. Downtown, the, the hustle and bustle, the chaos, people moving through the streets would, would stop as uh, fire engines approached and, and made their way through downtown. And, and then there were people coming by the stations all the time. They would bring cookies. They would bring snacks. They would bring um, all kinds of things by just to show their appreciation. more important than anything is just reflect on that day and reflect on the loss and understand that we are still vulnerable. I know we have, you know, we've taken great measures in Homeland Security and, and that's good, but that, that we need to remember the vulnerability we have as a nation and remember those that, that were lost that day and remember how united the country was post 9-11. And so when we get, now we, we let small things divide us and, and and those, you know, especially, you know, in the, re in the, in the recent past, actually, you know, we, we got things that people get upset with each other because we've forgotten that it wasn't an attack on any group, it was an attack on the nation. And that's exactly how we responded. I just think that it's important that even though we, we have some um, taking great measures, homeland security and protection and, and looking for things that I still believe that any country is still vulnerable to to attacks and and that that we don't it doesn't take something that tragic for us to appreciate each other and unite and and just take care of our neighbors <laughs>